Halo, one of the most iconic franchises in gaming history, has been on a downward trend with its last three games. This could mean it's time to say goodbye to the beloved Master Chief for good. The franchise has been turned over to 343 Industries, which has released three mainline games that are, at best, middle of the pack. Master Chief's return has been plagued by inconsistent storytelling and gameplay decisions that have hampered more than they have helped. In this video, we will discuss why Halo should move on from Master Chief and explore the franchise's other potential. The problem with Master Chief's return. Halo 4 was a decent attempt at bringing Chief back and creating a story about him saying goodbye to Cortana while introducing a new enemy. However, much of this game's story is solved out of the game, leaving the poorly marketed Halo 5 feeling like something trying to retcon its predecessor. Halo Infinite does not fall into this problem but also had much of its story told between games through other media sources. While this idea is not totally bad and expands the franchise, it is an issue the original trilogy avoided while making the games easier to follow. Halo Infinite's story is wrapped up in a way that leaves and likely means Chief will return and continue his fight. However, this choice could continue the spiral the franchise has been going on. Halo's potential without Master Chief While all five of Bungie's Halo games are loved, Halo 3, ODST and Halo Reach are standouts. ODST allowed players engage with a slightly more complex experience without being a genetically advanced super soldier, while also introducing some of the favorite characters in the franchise. Halo, Reach returned players to the life of a Spartan but also introduced one of the best campaign experiences in not just Halo, but all gaming. Reach showed that humanity has not always been on the winning side of its war with the Covenant, and that the losing end is not pretty. Even both Halo Wars games, though they are drastically different gameplay-wise, showed off the potential of the larger Halo universe. The massive key in all these games' cases is that they showed how different humanity fights when its best soldier isn't around. Halo's galaxy needs to be explored. Halo's biggest asset is the lore it has built up over the years, which can be used in many ways. The simplest way would be to take some of the Halo books and turn them into games. Option 2 would be to explore areas of the lore that have only been brought up but never really delved into. These stories would be completely original and could be easier for 343, as the studio may feel less handcuffed by the works of others. A third but less likely option would be looking at new gameplay directions. One idea could use one of Halo, Reach's unique missions, Long Night of Solace, and its ship-to-ship -ship combat. In conclusion, while it may be hard for many fans to say goodbye to Master Chief, it may be the best thing for the franchise. To move on from Master Chief or transition him into a side role could revitalize the franchise and provide opportunities for exploration of the wider Halo universe. The franchise's potential is limitless, and it's time for 343 Industries to take advantage of it.